All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Quantum Caliber, and today I'm going to be doing a first reaction video to Interstellar Marines. I'm going to show you some of the features, and then tell you what I'd like to see in the future, and then maybe I'll do an update video when they update it. All right. Right, it's a little laggy right now. I'll wait for that to subside. Okay, there. Alright. Right now, this is the sandbox mode. It's just to display the features, anyways. But there is sounds to these uh, floor tilings. This one's water. I think this one's grass. Don't know what that one is. But yeah. They have um, got all kinds of floor texture sounds. Right now, they only have this one gun. Which sucks. It's. You know, I'd, I'd really like to see more guns. It's kind of a given. That would happen though. But they do have location damage. Shoot him in the leg, nothing happens. Shoot him in the head, he dies. Well, he does get injured, but still. See how the rain is coming onto my screen? I can open the helmet, the rain doesn't come on the screen. That's kind of a cool thing to do. In a game, I. One of the best features, probably. Opening and closing the helmet. There's also... Team killing. That guy was, like, a dummy of my own team. Can still reload. Um... This thing over here I might want to point out. It's, uh... A Terminator thing, it's pretty... I think it's just an event. If you BM, you can get a... Well, the same machine gun that you always get, but it will be upgraded. And all festive-like. Another cool thing is... You can actually also shoot out the windows. Now it's all dark. There's a flashlight. Just toggle that and the laser sight there. The laser sight actually does make it a little easier. But, you know. Right now the game isn't perfect. It's definitely unpolished. They just came out with Jump pretty recently and it's it's just in a prototype stage, the jump is, is what the developers said. Um, as for what I'd like to see later on in the game... Well, the story mode isn't out yet. I would definitely like to see a story mode co-op, at least the first mission, pretty soon. I don't know how long it's going to take to make another, another uh, update. Hopefully within the next month or few weeks. I mean, th this game definitely has a lot of potential. The name even is pretty good, I think. Um, from what I've seen in some of the preview videos of the story, there's this shark alien, and it's like jumping on everybody. And I know that's not... I know, it's, it's, it's a game and stuff like that's supposed to happen. But hey, the lore is what I'm pretty excited for. Another thing I'd like to see is vehicles. Vehicles would add to the sci-fi narrative that this game definitely has. And it'll be kind of like Halo, I would say, this game would be. 
if they added vehicles. I know they probably want to set themselves apart from other AAA shooters. Shoot that light out. But I think vehicles could add to this game quite a bit if they uh, upgraded, or not upgraded, upsized some of the maps. Uh, actually, I'll go find another map, show you what it's like. Don't want to play in the multiplayer right now. Yeah. This one's in a swamp. And the uh, weather does change. Which is pretty cool. The, uh, the weather will change also with the time of day. Actually, I think I'm in a dome. Yeah, this is a dome. And that is pretty cool that the uh, time of day changes. It definitely it does change during multiplayer if you're on this map. It's a little laggy there. And what I'd like to see is definitely bigger maps. This map is it's fairly big. This is probably the biggest map I've played on so far. But I haven't played on them all, so don't take my word that it's the biggest map in the game. There's a, there's a starship over here. It would be pretty cool if I could drive one of these. That's what I was talking about with the, uh, with the vehicles. As you can see, it's not the the textures aren't polished much. It is an early access game, so you can buy it on Steam right now for fourteen dollars. I'd wait for a sale. Steam has a lot of them before you buy it. Um, definitely check it out. It does look promising, and I really hope to see more updates fairly soon. Another thing I'd like to see is character customization, because we all know that we want to definitely customize suits suits of armor that in uh, in a sci-fi uh, narrative because who doesn't like their own suit of armor but I would definitely recommend this game but definitely check it out later right now there isn't very much to it just a multiplayer and then you can check out a few of the maps there is some achievements, and they're for leveling up. Uh, on the bottom of the screen there, you can see I have 130 training points. I am level 1. I played online for a little while, and you get like 50? No. I don't know how many for, uh, for per kill. But, as I said before, this is just a pre, not pre, an early access game, or, yeah, it is a pre, pre-game, this is a pre-game element, and you should definitely check it out, it does, it does play pretty well on the Mac, if you're wondering, because I am playing on the Mac, I, that's all I have, side face. Uh, let's check out another map. Do the hangar. This one's pretty cool. Because the, uh, the lights will sometimes just flicker out, yeah, like that. And you would have to use your flashlight in order to see around. Now on multiplayer, that is 
On multiplayer, that is actually a pretty cool aspect to the game, I find, because it does cause a little sense of panic. And emotions as a game developer is probably something, no, it is definitely something, that you want to stir up in a player. For example, the Walking Dead, you know, the feels. But the thing I'm probably looking most forward to in the next updates is the story. It's supposed to be a co-op story campaign. So I really, really am looking forward to playing it with my friends and sharing it. And just to see what kind of story they come up with. Um, the game developer is, I forget the name of them, but they are from the Czech Republic. They are not English. They are definitely trying their best. I can tell. They're independent, so I don't expect this to be highly um, funded. They are being directly funded from Steam, so if you want it to become a good game, buy it, don't pirate it. You know, pirates are badasses. But just don't do it. Hmm. Alright. I think we're going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed my first reactions and and my uh, ambitions not ambitions but expectations for the game hey and if you just want to tell me what I did wrong go ahead if you want to tell me hey I did everything right then tell me that in the comments or maybe you just want to hate me please comments are always open but anyways thanks for watching and I'm out